Hello everyone. Welcome to Cyber Skills 99 YouTube channel. In this video, we'll explain JBossip slash as remoting unified invoker RCE and walk you through its step-by-step -step manner. What is JBossip slash as remoting unified invoker RCE? An unauthenticated hacker with network access to the JBossip slash as less than equal 6.x remoting unified invoker interface can send a serialized object to the interface to execute code on vulnerable hosts. What is JBoss remoting? Let's try to understand it before jumping into POC. JBoss remoting is a project that provides a general purpose distributed invocation framework for other JBoss projects and products, including the community application server, AS, and the enterprise application platforms, EAP. Remoting is roughly similar to Java RMI, but instead of using stubs, it identifies servers by URL. Other distributed frameworks that appear in the same context are Dgroups and Netty. The technologies served by remoting, in particular, are EJB2, EJB3, and JBoss Messaging. JBoss Web Services also uses remoting on its client side, but the use is hidden, so to speak, there are no configuration files. Remoting is quite flexible, with multiple, pluggable transports, marshallers, serializers, etc. And more than anyone would ever want to know is described in the remoting guide. But the current document, instead, focuses on those aspects of remoting that are useful in the context of EJB2, EJB3, and JBoss messaging. The user's guide is not meant to introduce the reader to writing applications based on remoting, but rather is meant to provide a basic understanding of how remoting works, a compendium of the important configuration parameters, and a description of how remoting is configured in the application server. The information in this guide applies to AS5, EAP5, and AS6. Now the time for proof of concept POC.
We hope you enjoyed this proof of concept book video. Thanks for watching. Please give the videos a like, subscribe, and spread the video.